Hi. So this is our first uh, how-to video from the Rennert Tiesel department uh, where we share with you uh, some of the tips that we give the people who take our uh, Tiesel certification course. So the first thing I'd like to share with you is basically a kind of new idea about a traditional fill-in-the-blank activity. And if you have a laminating machine and colored paper, you can make something that looks like this. And then basically that would be the other side. So it takes a gap fill activity and makes it communicative and you could even have your students walk around. So typically you start out with something that looks like this, which is a basic fill in the blank activity. But what you want to do is get an empty chart. This is just Microsoft Word. You can make an empty chart by going up to, you know, insert and then going to table and then you choose however many things you want. Um, you don't need more than two columns. So here would be basically three cards. So on one side you put a simple question depending on what you want to practice, vocabulary, grammar, this would be for a uh, simple past. So what did you do after class yesterday? And under here you can see the correct answer. So the other student has the correct answer. And then over here I blank to the store. And here is your traditional fill in the blank activity with the verb that your students will use. So after I have this um, and I fill in as many as I would like, you know, based on the verbs, I can then print it out. And I'll have, you know, a basic printout like this. And then what I do is I take the printout and I fold it in half, just right down the center. And then I take, you know, just some basic glue, put it in the middle there, and stick it together. Glue it before you cut it. Otherwise, cutting will take forever, trust me. So then I can just cut it out and I'll have something that looks like this. One student will have the question, so I would, if you were my student, I would say, what did you do after class yesterday? And then you would answer me, and I have the correct answer on my side. And then we switch cards, and we can go and find a new partner. So it's just a cute way to make a traditional, old, boring, gap-fill activity, which isn't always boring, a little bit more motivational and fun for your students. So thanks for watching, and we'll have more tips up later.